my mom and just growing up would learn about Chinese culture um, and would eat Chinese food and um, listen to my grandmother speaking Chinese. I wanted to explore the land of my grandmother um, so there's some part of me it was very romantic to go back to um, where my ancestor is from you know um, so I thought that would be beautiful. I also wanted to understand a country I only read about in the news and see what the truth is. That's always different than a newspaper article or a history book from school and something that was really cool to appreciate on this trip is the, the long history of China and um, seeing how your society has persisted and um, it threw out thousands of years. It's very um, inspiring, especially coming from a very young country like the United States, very young in comparison. The game is called the Cooperation Challenge, and what I want them to learn is the skills of cooperation. It's Cooperation is not an instinctive thing sometimes. It's something that requires skill and technique and, um, and having large groups of people working together requires them to have those skills. <clears throat> That's especially important in a classroom um, for cooperative learning, having them learn how to work together and become one whole team. Yes, I would absolutely love to come back and return. I think that there was, there's so much to see and this was just the possible beginning of of seeing and exploring the country more. My impression of Hangzhou is that it is very beautiful. Right now I like the weather um, better. It's not as hot <laughs> right now and it feels more relaxed the pace of life here. I don't know if that's true but that's what I'm feeling so far. <laughs>